Uh, and then that was often a, a really interesting back and forth when we were saying, okay, but could you increase this a little bit, or what? What if that was linked to another aspect of the of the simulation, or and, and that kind of back and forth um, worked really well, where you kind of separate um, the use of um, a system from the person that has developed it, and kind of looking at it from a different perspective, it can often lead to these surprising moments, I guess, where you um, you set up a system, but then you let it go, and you let somebody else play with it. Um, directly. Uh, the communion piece that we did um, for the show with Matt Pike last year um, was kind of dealing with, with the idea of um, digital life forms and um, not only emergence but um, you know, evolution in a way. Um, but we tried to approach it from a very abstract and, and graphical and simplified point of view where we were designing evolutionary steps for the, um, for the creatures and, and just imagining as many um, different forms that they could take. And that was an... I mean, Obviously, when it comes to client projects, it's a bit difficult to manage expectations and to navigate around that. But uh, but that's an interesting um, that's a, a process that I really enjoy. You know, communicating with people, be it a client or in um, you know a gallery or whoever commissions us to do something, um, and and trying to um, tell them about um, you know this this possibility space um, that we're opening that we're designing um, for this occasion and and. You know, telling them about the, what is that this is actually what is fascinating about it, that we don't know yet how it's going to look in the end, and that's why we're doing it. Um, and if if they were expecting us to um, to already know, then we wouldn't actually have to do the the whole process. Mm. And we're I mean, it's as well. obviously we're enjoying it a bit more if we can, you know, put put through our own vision and we we try to um, to choose the um, commissions and opportunities where where we can do that. Um, the idea for the project is that we're producing 10 um, short animated stories, narrative sequences, more narrative than the projects that we've done in the past, I would say, um, all fully animated and uh, with an interlinking these stories in, uh, in a generative composition. Um, it's a bit of an experiment in nonlinear storytelling, uh, even though we're, um, the whole idea comes from a lot of them quite disturbing uh, events that have happened in the last um, two, maybe three years. Um, so the Arab Spring happening, or the protests in the Eurozone, um, um, Fukushima, and the financial crisis. It feels like a lot of things in the world are in turmoil and um, changing quite on a, on a very, um, on the level of a paradigm shift, really. Um, and even though they seem completely unrelated and from completely different areas of our lives, uh, it feels like there might be connections between them. And that's why we, um, we call this project Energy Flow, because we want to look at this, these kind of underlying streams of energy that are happening in, in social situations and in, in physical processes and biological processes. Uh, and maybe even on, you know, in, some, in the one or two uh, spiritual situations and, um, uh, and just see what, um, how they might be connected. Yeah. Maybe it just comes from enjoying stories, um, I guess. Uh, one of the first projects, or one of the first real projects that Marcus and I uh, did together was um, our film Interim Camp that was part of our graduation project in Kassel. Um, and that was, um, you know, it took the idea of, uh, of generative landscapes, but then taking a journey through that. And we tried to work with a protagonist or have an imaginary protagonist um, whose perspective we were taking. We, you know, we had, uh, on the sound level we had footsteps and breathing and um, kind of trying to weave that thread um, through the story just to give it a little bit of a... Um, I think for me it's often about accessibility. Um, you know, if, if something reminds you of something or if it tells you a story, then um, it's a starting point. It's almost like an, like an access door into abstract an abstract visual realm, um, and I think that um, that can be really nice uh, as a starting point for a conversation. Mm. Um, what I what I like and appreciate, and why I like to work in this area, is that there's um, so many people who um, um, find new and different ways to um, bring their ideas to life and to create things that are beautiful, that are aesthetic, that are interesting um, on, a, on a story level in a way um, and um, yeah that's, um, that's a tribe that I like to be in I guess.